All right, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to have your character grab and move an object in Maya um, using the bony character today. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, switch in your arms in FK mode if you haven't already. I'm going to do that by selecting these two fellow, you know, these two little arrow icons on the back here. Switch those to zero, and now they're in IK mode. You can see it jumped a bit. Uh, and pull them down here. Line them up roughly with the box. Not going to really do elaborate posing with this, just enough to give the general idea. And the basic way this works is you pick the object itself, you know, the thing you're going to be moving or having your character move. But the trick is that you're actually sticking the character to it and then moving the object. So you pick the object that's moving. Then shift select the object that you want to stick to it. In this case, the IK control for the hand. Go to the constraint menu and click parent. Then click the object again. Shift click, yeah, shift select the uh, other IK uh, controller and parent. So now when you move the box, the hands move with it. Thing is, uh, now that we've done that, I'm going to show you a little problem that can come up. Sometimes, at least in older versions of Maya, I'm not sure if it's still the case in 2016, when you have an object constrained to another object, you can't really move it independently. So, I'm going to back up out of here. Undo the constraints, and I'll show you a little trick. Go on the Create menu and create a locator. I always like to give things like this a useful name, so I'm just going to call it Lock, so I know it's a locator. Underscore L Grip. Then I'll create another one. Call that lock R grip. And I'll move lock R grip over here, right about the middle of the hand, you know, of the right hand. And I'll grab the other one, bring it over here. Where the left hand is, oops. Th 
And with that locator still selected, I'll shift select the box, hit P for parent, and I'll select the other locator, shift select the box, and hit P for parent again. Now when I move the box, it'll move those locators. Now, I'll take that, you know, select that locator, select the IK control, go up to constrain and parent, then repeat that on the other side. Click the locator, shift select the IK control, constrain, parent. Now I can move the box, it moves the hands with it. And once I've moved the box, and I'm starting to feel like things are a little bit peculiar, I can go that way. I can select the locator, move it around. Say I want the shift, you know, the grip to shift. Select the other locator, move it around. That way you have a little bit of control about how your hands are contacting the object that you're moving around. Useful little thing to know. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. I'll probably have a few more for you later, but hope this helps you all in your quest to animate your character moving a heavy object.